Hi everyone, this is Mistel, and as you might have noticed, I am currently going through the Celestial Tournament, coming up with the alternative guides for how to beat the Tamers here. And uh, Saljian uh, requested that I do Rathian as fast as possible, because he's having uh, trouble with that one, uh, with the tactic I have up at the moment. And he's right, there's sometimes a possibility of bad RNG. So I've been looking for a better tactic, and this is what I have come up with. I'm using Scorched Weltling, I'm using Death Talent Weltguard, and I'm using Terrible Turnip. Instead of Terrible Turnip, you could uh, use Little Ragnaros, but I wanted to um, to have a team that you don't have to buy anything in the pet shop uh, to, to put together. So this is uh, how I'm going. So I start out with doing Call Darkness, and the reason for this is that I'm hoping to uh, have some misses on the uh, either this uh, Ice Tomb or some of the normal attacks of Cindy. And because you're using Scorch Welting, you will be stunned unless you're lucky with a miss. And it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's uh, it's totally fine. Just keep firing Dreadful Breath and um, Call Darkness just to start with. And uh, when you do that, you can see the backline pets are taking damage. And that's actually uh, what you're going for here. You want to kill Alex and Dada off as fast as possible. And using Dreadful Breath helps you with that because... Um, well, it's strong against uh, these two. Another thing you really want to is um, to stay alive for the second ice tomb here uh, with the Scorch Weldling. On very rare occasions um, I'm dying before he launches the second one and I have still only um, had to use my third pet in order to beat this fight. So, so even if you were really unlucky with the amount of damage that the Scorch Weldling is taking, and um, the ice tomb hits the second ice ice tomb hits your second pet. You still should be able to win this. It's uh, so far for me. It has been absolutely bulletproof. And um, I've done this, I think, ten times or something to to double check. So, ten out of ten is not too bad. So you can see now I have Cindy at very low HP, uh, and I also have Alex and uh, Dada at half or more than half XP, uh, less than half XP, so that's really good. I'm taking in my Death Talon uh, Wealth Guard, and one of the reasons I'm using this is because it's a Drakenkin, um, but it has humanoid uh, attacks, and one of them is a, uh, a Whirlwind, a, an AoE team attack, and that's really good, that's kind of what we want. Because, again, you can see strong against the backline pets, and we can do as much damage to them as physically possible before uh, we die. And now, just blitz him, should kill him, and you will then get um, you'll get him uh, alive one, one turn because of his under racial and I usually just do the blitz again and there's no point in trying to do anything. I could uh, stun him, but yeah, I, I usually just do blitz, it doesn't really matter. So Alex will heal and uh, that's quite annoying of course, but uh, it's nothing that that we can't live with. And unfortunately you're also still going to take damage from the frostbite, but that's fine as well. So you should allow, uh, you should survive, sorry, you should survive his second attack or his first attack. And then you just do a uh, whirlwind because then you can get data as, at as low HP as possible. Sometimes uh, when I do this, I've actually managed to kill it off just using the two first pets, but if you don't, that's not a problem, just use the terrible turnip. And here I use weakening blow. And obviously weakening blow can't kill uh, Alex, but then you have the uh, leech seed, or you can do sons of root, it doesn't really matter, either one will kill him off. So I'm just gonna do sons of root. And the reason I'm okay doing Sons of Ruth here is because uh, Dada is at s this low HP. If Dada has more HP, you might want to uh, keep um, Sons of Ruth, Ruth and time it so that uh, you don't get hit by Elementium Bolt. But, bolt. but in this uh, case, as you can see, um, there was no issue. So this was, I would say, a fairly average uh, round for me. I, it wasn't good and it wasn't bad. Um, when it's bad, then you will have a terrible turn of at pretty low HP but you will still win and when it's really good you will kill this um, you'll kill Rathian with just two pets which is pretty awesome so um, yeah that's that's about it I, I would like to have had a, a critter with AoE attack but so far uh, as far as I'm aware there isn't an, any in the game so unfortunately can't do that because that would be really good that would take less damage from um, 
from Cindy and it would be able to do the same um, backline pet damage. So, so that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no such thing right now. So before we leave this um, alone, I also just wanted to show you how you can use Rathian to heal your pets up. So basically you would do um, the two other tamers first and then you can use uh, Rathian to heal the pets that you've used uh, for killing those tamers uh, off before you uh, you kill him. And that means that uh, if you're using any of uh, the pets that you want to use for the Celestials in, second, in the second stage, uh, you don't have to worry about it. So again, as uh, in my other How to Heal in the Celestial Tournament video, you use the magical crawdad, you use Vish. And the reason you can do that is because Cindy will cast the Ice Tomb and he will use his second uh, ability where he casts the, uh, what is it, cold What's it called? Blistering cold, yeah. So you heal the terrible turnip and then you just fade. And there we go. Now my pet is at full health and the magical cord obviously is not uh, has, has not taken any damage at all. So uh, that's about it for now. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and um, if you have any ideas or any wishes for future videos, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. I will do my best to uh, fulfill your wishes. Until next time, bye bye.